your team comes to you today and says you could collaborate with one person, they're going to say yes, who is it? Bruno Mars. Why? Uh, lifelong Dream. Or yeah. T-Pain, honestly. T-Pain, really? Come on in, Kale. Oh, hey. That's my Chris oh. Olsen. We know Chris. Yeah. Huh? Variety. Variety is my favorite. Uh, yes. Hello. So why T-Pain? Oh, I think his rhyme skills is better than most people. Um, he can rhyme words that don't rhyme. And his melodies are so catchy and haunting. And his backgrounds, I study them. So if you hear my songs, you'll notice I do as much backgrounds as T-Pain. I love I mean, T-Pain. She's a musical genius. I, I th- she's the biggest star here. You know that, right? She is the yeah. biggest star. I, 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 watching, I watched her work for the first time like over the last month, and it is just insane to watch. Like People don't know what's going on in this head, but it's We have insanity. a little collab coming up. You do? What we like do? Like you're singing? I am singing. I am singing. Tell me. Tell me about hearing him sing. Nobody knows. That's a spill. He's a... Uh, that's a spill. Uh, there's a hint. If you check her TikTok, we sing together in the bathtub once, so we might expand on that. Yeah. Sing together in the bathtub one. Like a bu- full-on bubble bath? Like acapella. Yeah, the, no the water bath is in empty. the tub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had bubbles on. Sorry. Okay, we'll try. What? We'll Sorry. redo. We'll the redo. Video for we should this. do bubbles. We should do bubbles, okay. yeah. Definitely bubbles. Definitely. Just covering the... Parts, yes. Yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Or not. Right. Yeah. Favorite holiday song to sing? (sighs) (sighs) Favorite holiday song to sing? My Kind of Present by Megan (laughs) (laughs) Trainor. I have a a Christmas album, a very trainer Christmas. Check it out. Um, (laughs) But I also uh, have a song with uh, Seth MacFarlane, White Christmas, that we have a duet that went number one a bunch last year. So So that's your favorite. Yours is your favorite. Well, the one that did the best, you know. I'm going to call that one. And Chris, I have to ask you this morning, we wake up to the horrible news. In Colorado, yeah. Yeah. gay bars, queer bars, that's our safe space. That's where we find community. Yeah. I just wanted to get your reflections on that. Yeah, I think it's just important in these moments to uh, come together again as a community. Like, it, you know, we have social media now, so we're able to connect with people who aren't close to us physically. So to be able to connect and send love to the people, even if they're far away, is so important. And I think it's important to do that and continue to boost these voices of the people who might be hurting right now. Do you remember the first gay bar you ever walked into? Um, it was one in Boston called Machine. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so it was like they had 18. 18- it's in Boston. Yeah. They should have. I'm a little before your time. <laughs> okay. was, Great. Uh, club called Buddies. And I, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Thank you for making oh me feel God. all the, thank you, Chris. Mine, <laughs> was, <laughs> so sorry. mine was play in Nashville. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was it like walking into your first gay bar? Um, well, I had my best friend with me, and I wore a lot of backwards hats, so um, everyone thought we were a couple. And, right. and we were like, oh, I get no. it, yeah. But it was amazing. It was, like, one right. of the best nights of our lives, and it was, like, drag queens everywhere singing songs. Now when I go, they sing my songs, and I'm like, ah! Yes! <laughs> was, was, that, was, that a te- was that a tease? We found that. 